Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We haven't done one of these for a long time, so I figured it's time for Trader Joe's haul. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to everyone who's new here. My name is Ashley, welcome to Park Avenue. I have tons of fashion content for you to check out. And if that's the kind of content you wanna see, then check out some of my other videos. And when you find something you like, make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit those notification bells so that way you don't miss any of my uploads. Now, I know you guys are usually here for the fashion. So I did pick up a couple of things from Zara. It's not really haul worthy. It was just a couple of pieces that I picked up while I was in store. So I wanted to try them on for you guys. First up, I'm trying on this dress that I really liked, but I wasn't obsessed with it when I put it on. I thought it should have been a little bit longer. I really love the print though. I really love the print. I wish they would have done it in like a scarf or some sort of like hair accessory. It's very pretty or a really cute like top, like maybe like a, like a button up top or something like that. Anyway, I really, really do love the dress, but I think if it was just like a little bit longer, I would have loved it even more. And I also feel like the back, it dips a little bit, like it has a little bit of a V in the back and my the bottom of my bra shop is gonna show. So that was kind of off-putting for me too. So anyway, I think I'm gonna return that dress, but let me know what you guys think about it because the print is gorgeous. And then I also got my hands on this really pretty printed top. Now I'm not in love with it once I put it on, so that's why I'm for sure gonna return the top. And the one sleeve sort of like, um, it's not a spaghetti strap, but it's, it's kind of like knotted up. The way that it, it fits is kind of too long for my shoulder. I usually have a problem with that. Things with straps that are not adjustable tend to be too long for me. So I'm going to return that top, but I think the print is pretty. It just was kind of underwhelming when I put it on. It does have smocking across the back. Overall, still very cute, but it's not for me. But I am really in love with this pink button-up shirt. You guys know I love button-up shirts. They're classic. They're easy to style. They're like no-brainers. I like to wear it with shorts. I like to wear them with jeans. Just really easy styling, and they always look good. You always look put together. It's very classy. And even though it's an oversized shirt, it looks super cute. So definitely gonna keep that one. And I think it comes in blue as well because my mother has it in blue, and she has it in... Does she have it in yellow? I think it comes in some other colors. But I'll have the links to all the pieces and size information in the description box. Now, on this channel, I do Trader Joe's hauls every once in a while. I love doing Trader Joe's hauls. I try to keep pretty consistent with them, but I haven't done one in a while. Ever since we moved, I've kind of fallen off, especially with the Trader Joe's haul. I did a couple on this channel, and you can check them out. I'll link them in the cards. You guys can check those out if you want to. And the cool thing is a lot of things at Trader Joe's are seasonal, so they might have some of the things that I have spoken about before. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure they do because there are some chips that I talked about last time that are back now. So definitely check those videos out because I am in love with all my Trader Joe's products. But I do tell you guys when I'm not in, obsessed with something, which is pretty rare, but I do have one that I'm gonna tell you about in this video. Overall, I love Trader Joe's. So if you're new here, I usually do fashion content and I have tons for you to check out, but I do love Trader Joe's and I like to include a Trader Joe's haul every now and again, and I'm long overdue for one. So I picked up some stuff, I did a lot of shopping, and I wanna tell you guys about the stuff that I got. I also follow a couple of like Trader Joe's pages. On Instagram, I follow Trader Joe's list. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of Trader Joe's list. I get the tea on all the new Trader Joe's products, but I think she's in California, so I think they get things like a lot faster than we do on the East Coast. Anyway, I do get a lot of tips from her as far as like what products are there because she does hauls all the time. And then I'm also part of a Facebook group called Black Girls and Trader Joe's that I love because I, you get like real information like in real time about like what people are doing, what they're buying, and their um, what they have at Trader Joe's. It's just a cool place to be, and I'm obsessed with Trader Joe's, so I like to get as much information as I can. So let's get into the stuff that I got because we went to Trader Joe's to pick up a couple of things, and of course, two hundred dollars later. <laughs> we got a bunch of stuff. Now I'm gonna start with some of the frozen stuff just to show you guys. Some of these I haven't tasted and some of them I have, but we decided we're gonna keep these in the freezer because we've been pretty busy and it's nice to have the Trader Joe's options in the freezer because honestly, they taste really good and we really like Trader Joe's, like I said. So we can like add things to it or it can be the meal. It actually makes a good amount of food, like just things to keep in the freezer. Now if you have a large family, you might, I don't know if this is gonna work for you, um, because by the time you buy several of these, you could have made another option. But if you have just a few people in your house, then this is going to be perfect. So we picked up this mushroom ravioli. I love mushrooms. And this one is with a mushroom truffle sauce. And I love truffle sauce. Trader Joe's has the 
um, the seasonal like black truffle t uh, ketchup. I love that because it has the truffle flavor in it. And I showed you guys that in another video. So definitely check my other Trader Joe's videos out. But this one has mushroom truffle sauce in it. And I think it's going to be really good. I love ravioli. But this one says it's imported from Italy. And the Italian stuff at Trader Joe's, it says Trader Giotto's, which I think is so cute because it's just fun. I don't know. Trader Joe's is just a fun store. But yeah, I'm excited to try this. And we're probably gonna maybe add like a little bit of spinach to it. That'd probably be really good, actually. So I don't know if these are vegan, but they're definitely vegetarian. So, oh, maybe not. Not vegetarian, but they're meatless. So that's good. <laughs> but yeah, definitely add like a little bit of spinach to this or something like that. Or of course you can add, um, you know, some other vegetables, maybe like some asparagus. Maybe we'll do something like that with these. And I do like to add a little bit of spice to all my food. So I'll probably add like some um, crushed um, pepper flakes or something like that. But yeah, this is probably gonna be super good. Next up we have the, oh, Trader Mings. I didn't even realize it said Trader Mings. So the Asian stuff has a different name too. Instead of saying Trader Joe's, it says Trader Mings, which I think is cute. This one is uh, the Mandarin Orange Chicken, and this one is good, you guys. If you haven't tried it, definitely try it. You can make this up with like some jasmine rice, some basmati rice. This is really good. And then we just eat it. We add like extra scallions to it. Highly recommend it. And it comes with like a sauce packet, and then you could like cook this up super quick. If you don't, if you're like pressed for time, and like say you get off work, you want to make something quick, but that's really good. These are good. I'm telling you guys, definitely pick these up and keep these in your freezer for like emergencies. But I love these. It's a savory dish of tender battered chicken with mandarin orange ginger sauce, and it's really, really good. Oh, next up, we got the Kung Pao chicken. This is Trader Ming's as well. We just had this recently for dinner, and that's why we got some more when we went this time, because this is really good. This is more, that was our first time, like, recently. This last past week, we had the Kung Pao chicken for the first time. I never noticed it before, so I don't know if they always had it or if this is something that's new, because you know how Trader Joe's does. They, they're, like, seasonal, all their stuff. But this is so good. It's a savory dish of tender dark meat chicken and mixed vegetables and a spicy soy ginger sauce. And it's good. And one thing I'll say about this is they have a, it has a lot of meat in it. Some I've tried the, um, it was like a rice dish. I can't remember the name of it, but I tried a rice dish. And I didn't really like it. It was underwhelming. It, did, it had like three pieces of meat in it. And I was like, wow. I was honestly shocked because usually everything is really good at Trader Joe's. But the beef bulgogi. And I think that might have been Trader Ming's as well, yeah. The beef bulgogi had like three pieces of beef in it. It was way underwhelming. Honestly, you could have doctored it up. Like, I could have probably added some pepper flakes. I would have had to cook some more meat added to that. And then maybe put some scallions in it or something like that. But overall, I wouldn't buy it again because the point of me getting these is so that we could just add some rice or like add a starch or extra vegetable or something to it and call it a day. So I wouldn't buy that one again. Yeah, but I, this one is really good. So I definitely recommend... This, all the, everything I'm showing you, all the chickens, I definitely recommend it. Basically, they're already cooked. You just like really warming it up and then you add whatever you want to add to it. Very good. All right, next up, we got the sweet potato gnocchi. This one says Trader Joe's. It doesn't say Trader Giotto's, but, which I think is interesting because it's imported from Italy. And a cool thing about Trader Joe's, if you don't shop at Trader Joe's, if there's not one near you, because I know a lot of you message me about Trader Joe's saying that they don't have one in your area or if you've never been there, you got to check it out. And first of all, you do have to check it out because Trader Joe's is amazing. But second of all, their stuff is actually really great quality. They do like scouting and they go like to different places. And then they, um, there might be some, even some things that are similar to what you have already tasted. And then they'll like sell it as a, like a Trader Joe's brand. But some things really come from really cool places that I've never heard of. I mean, this comes from Italy. But I think it's really great that they import things and, um, we're, you know, you get to try different foods from other places in the world. But, yeah, so next up we got the sweet potato gnocchi. This one has butter and sage, and that's probably going to be so good. I haven't tried this one, but I do really love gnocchi. It tastes... It's like a potato, not a dumpling, but that's as much as I can really like think about it. If you ever had a, have you ever had a boiled dumpling? If you fry a boiled dumpling, it kind of gives you like gnocchi vibes, but really good. And I'll let you guys know. If you follow me on Instagram, then you get to see all, um, when I do all the Trader Joe's testings and when I go to Trader Joe's and all that. So follow me on Instagram for updates about food because we do eat very well in my house. <laughs> so I'll show you guys. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. I think it's gonna taste really good. But I'm gonna probably have to add like, have like a protein on the side, maybe meat or fish or something like that because this is just the starch. Oh, and speaking of raviolis, 
I got the butternut squash raviolis and I love these. These are different than the ones that I had before. Around um, like in the fall, around like Halloween, they have a lot of like fall flavored stuff and they always have butternut squash and I had it for the first time last year and it was really good. The raviolis look a little bit different. These are like triangle shape and um, they're just tan colored. The ones that I tried last fall, they were square and then they had like swirls of like orange. They were really, really good. So I'm assuming it's gonna taste the same. But yeah, this is another product of Italy, but this one says Trader Joe's. Thin stuffed pasta with sweet butternut squash, and I love butternut squash, so I think this is gonna be really, really good. But you can do this as like a, you know, a meatless kind of a meal, or if you want, you can just add a meat sauce on top of this. That'll be really good too. Okay, so this is our last like refrigerated frozen type meal, and these are the gyro slices. These are fully cooked, and all you have to do is heat them and serve them. I was talking to my mother about these and she said we tried these before, but I don't remember trying them. I don't know if they're good or not. I'm excited about it. Um, Winston really wants to try them too, but we love like Mediterranean type dishes and we love, well, I call them gyros. I know, I think they're pronounced gyro, but I love these. They're so good and I can't wait to try them. We got some pitas in the house, but I think we need to get some more. We probably should have picked them up when we were at Trader Joe's, but yeah. Definitely gonna try these. Let me know if you guys have tried these because like I said, I know so many of you love Trader Joe's just like me. So you might have already tried these. And a lot of the Trader Joe's um, like frozen food or like the pre-cooked, pre-prepared meals, they're microwavable if you want to. They always have microwave instructions, it seems like on the back of the package. I prefer to cook it on the stove. As a matter of fact, we don't even have a microwave. So <laughs> I'm forced to cook it on the stove. But yeah, we don't microwave anything. Winston hates the microwave. And when we were in the apartment, we never used it. So we just decided we weren't gonna get one when we moved into this house. And it works out just fine. Next up, I got some pasta. This is the spinach and chive linguine pasta. And I'm excited to try these. I haven't had these before. I've never even seen them. So they might be new or maybe I just never noticed them. But I love chives and I love like um, vegetable type pastas. They're so good. Throw a little bit of like Alfredo or some like tomato meat sauce on here. This is banging, so I'll definitely let you guys know about these because I'm expecting these to be really, really good. Next up is another new product that we're trying and it tastes really good. So I did already taste these. We got them earlier today and if you follow my Instagram, you've already seen um, me show you guys these, but these are really, really good. Actually, I'm just gonna have some since I'm here. So this is granola and it's loaded with fruit and nut, but it reminds me of a cereal. I mean, I guess granola is like a cereal anyway, but it has like flakes, almost like a cereal. And it has like corn, like rice corn in it, almost like Rice Krispie Treats. It's really, really good. You can put this with like yogurt, but I don't mind eating it like just like this out of the package. This is probably one of the best granolas I've ever tried. And I like granola in general. Usually I like it with like a little bit of chocolate, but this doesn't have any, any chocolate in it. It tastes still really, really good. So recommend you trying these if you like it. It is on the sweeter side. So that's something to note because if you like to have it with yogurt or something, I'd probably um, just have it with like Greek yogurt because it could probably get too sweet if you have it with like a sweetened yogurt. But we did get this earlier today and we always, like when we're packing up the, the cart when we're at Trader Joe's, we always take out a snack for the road like when we're driving back home and try something. Usually it's something we've never had before. So today it was this granola and we really liked it. We were talking to one of the um, associates, the one of the Trader Joe's associates at the register and he was saying, oh, I'm gonna tell you guys that story when I get to that product, so hold on. But yeah, these are really good. Oh, let me show you guys this before I forget because I'm not gonna taste this, but this is the Mediterranean Dorade. It's gilt head bream, fillets, and olive oil. I haven't tried it, but Trader Joe's does good like canned fish. I like their tuna, I like their canned herring. They're really good. So if you like canned fish, then you'll like this. And then I, sometimes um, I'll just eat it like chopped up with like some onions and some pepper, like um, like some scotch bonnet pepper, a little bit of vinegar. That's delicious. Black pepper, of course, as well. And that's really, really good. But of course you could cook these down with like onions and peppers, like sweet peppers, that's good too, so. Yeah, if you like canned fish, then definitely check these out. I'll let you guys know how this tastes if you're interested. I know some people might not be into this, but I think it's worth trying because I like the other ones. Okay, so remember the story I was just about to tell you about? We were in Trader Joe's and one of the associates was telling us about these crispy jalapeno pieces. 
First of all, he was telling us how this is his favorite chips. This is not even chips. They're like toppers, like salad toppers. They're like crispy jalapenos for the top, like salads or wraps or whatever. So I thought that was hilarious. But he was basically telling us that he does, he also likes to have like um, some chips or a snack or something when he's going home and he'll take something out. And then he has to be careful because he'll eat the whole thing, which is the truth because you get to snack it in the car and next thing you know it's going. So... That's how we do with some of our treats when we come from Trader Joe's. We take something in the car on the way home, and then we test it out. But next up is these crispy jalapeno pieces, and these are really, really good. After trying them, I can see why he would eat them like chips, because once you eat one, they're kind of addictive because they're crispy. They're a little bit spicy, like they have a kick for sure. If you don't like spice, then I guess you might not like these. But if you like spice, they're not too hot at all. They're really good. It kind of gives me, like, I miss a fried jalapeno. If you like fried tomatoes, it's kind of that vibe, but just spicy, you know? Because these are really good. No, these are, these are mad good. Okay. This one I also tasted, but I wanted to tell you guys. I actually filmed some clips before, and it didn't work out, so I had to refilm this. But So this one I tasted. But it's a spicy chakri mix. It's crunchy, spicy, Indian-style snack mix. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I didn't even want to try it. I didn't even want to get this when I saw it. In Trader Joe's, I wasn't interested, but Winston was like, okay, let's try it. So I was like, okay, let's try it, because I'm really down to try anything Trader Joe's has, but this just didn't interest me. And when we got home, I was kind of right. It's a little underwhelming. It tastes good, but because of the way it looks, like it's a bunch of little tiny pieces of everything, so it's kind of annoying to eat it, and it's not that amazing, so I didn't really think that I needed to have it. So I probably wouldn't buy it again, but I'm gonna eat it. It tastes good, you know? You can taste like the different spices and seasonings in it. So it has flavor, it is flavorful, but overall it kind of reminds me of like corn chips. But in like really tiny annoying pieces. All right, let's switch to something sweet. And these are the ube tea cookies. These are very good. Now, I always wanted to try ube. I've seen it on like YouTube travel videos and like other people talking about recipes. It's a purple potato. No, it's a purple yam, which I guess is potato wheat, but it's a purple yam and it's shortbread cookies with powdered sugar. I actually saw today that they also have these, this kind of a cookie, but um, instead of purple yam, it's lemon and then it has the powdered sugar on it, but it's also a shortbread tea cookie. So if you're not into this, you can try those if you like a lemony flavor, but these are really good. Definitely check these out. I was talk The reason why we picked this one up is because I was curious about it and then one of the sales associates, they're all so nice in Trader Joe's. That's why I like going there. They're all really sweet. They'll actually let you taste things. If you're in there and you're curious about something, they'll literally open it up and let you taste it before you buy it. I like the whole fun of bringing it home and checking it out. And if it doesn't work out, I'll return it anyway and get something else. But I really like these. Actually, I'm just gonna have one right now. Even though I've tried it, they're really good. They're really good. If you like shortbread cookies, you'll like these. Like, honestly, that's just it. <laughs> I guess these are seasonal as well because I've never seen them before. But they're really good. Mm. They're really good with, like, tea. I even suggest that you eat it with, like, tea and, or coffee. I really like shortbread cookies in that way. So, honestly, the only difference is that they're the they have the purple yam in it. Very good. And speaking of the same ube... Um, like purple yam. They also have a pancake and waffle mix version. And I haven't tried it yet, but I'm excited because since I like the shortbread cookie so much, I think I'm definitely gonna like this. We went there twice and they did not have it. Finally, we, when we went on this most recent shopping trip, they had a bunch of them. But I would suggest if you guys like these, maybe to pick up a couple because they're super popular. The associate told us they cannot keep them on the shelf. So we picked up two just in case we like it. And I like, I love pancakes, so. And I really like the cookies, so I think I'm definitely going to like these. But, of course, follow me on Instagram because I'll keep you guys up to date on how this tastes. And speaking of this, I really want to get a waffle maker um, because I really like waffles. So I want to make these like a waffle version. But it just says that you just need to add um, water, eggs, and butter. And then, you know, cook it up like a regular pancake. Oh, the next sweet thing I want to show you guys. And this is something I feel like you might look over if you're not into the s'mores or like chocolate covered graham crackers or whatever, but but this is the dark chocolate covered honey grams with sea salt. And I like any kind of chocolatey anything. And then when you add sea salt to it, it's definitely up my alley. So this is delicious, but I wanted to show you guys this because I wanted to tell you that these 
this is a, an open bag, but around this time of year, they always have the larger um, marshmallows. These are like pork free marshmallows. If you don't eat gelatin, like pork gelatin or anything like that, you're okay to eat these because I think I've gotten that question before. And I was um, with somebody and they weren't sure if they could eat these because they don't eat pork. And if you don't eat pork, you can eat these. They don't have that in there. They're like vegetarian. Anyway, these taste so good. Around this time of year, they always have the large marshmallows because people go camping and people like to make s'mores. And you can make a s'more out of this and this. It tastes so good. And actually, my mother like discovered it because I love s'mores. So I don't even know why I didn't think about this, but my mother made it one time and I tasted it and I was like, ooh, that's delicious. So definitely recommend this combination, you guys. It tastes so good. But you can't find the large s'mores in the, um, like in the winter months. They only have the small ones for like hot chocolate. So get your hands on these now and get a couple bags to keep them in your pantry if you like to do that. But these are really good. And they're just a tiny little square. So you can make one little s'more if you like to have something like a little bit of something sweet and you don't want to go overboard. You can have one of these and you're good to go. But they're literally just a tiny little square. Next, I want to show you guys this organic jalapeno limeade. I love limeade. When I saw this, I was super curious because I love limeade, but it also has the jalapeno in it. And I usually don't like spicy drinks. Like... It's just off-putting to me. I usually like my drink sweet, not spicy, so I never am, like, curious. But this one I was curious about. And I I guess because I like jalapeno and I like limeade. So I knew that this was going to be something I wanted to try. Anyway, it tastes super good. As you can tell, we drank half of it already. We're going to have to go back and get more. We only got one because we weren't sure. Because, like I said, I don't like spicy drinks. But this tastes really good. And I'm pretty sure it's going to taste good with tequila. So, like, this summer, this could be really good for, like, your summer cocktails. Actually, I'm going to have a little bit right now. It says, Trader Joe's organic jalapeno limeade defies the idea that something with a bit of heat can also be refreshing, and that's true because it is refreshing. A hint of jalapeno builds with each sip for a spicy sweet beverage bursting with lime. I really like lime a lot. When you drink it, it tastes sweet. You could like, just like limeade, and then you get the jalapeno kick at the back of your throat. I kind of have a feeling if you don't like spice, you might not like it, because it's not hot, but it does have that whatever that leftover spicy thing that spice does in the back of your throat, it can definitely build up. So beware, but it's really good. Next up, I have a few bags of chips. This, I think I showed you guys this before, but I wanted to talk about it again because I would just, I'm just not sure if it was in another video. This is something that is seasonal for sure. It comes in and out. I think I've only ever tried it one other time because when I found it, it was like toward the end of the line. And um, when I went back again, they didn't have any more. But I love these. So now when they have them, I get a few bags of it because they're so good and it's like different flavors of popcorn in here and they're so good they have salty smoky spicy tangy um oh it says they have a garlic powder i didn't even realize that but it's really good oh and it says slightly sweet flavors which is true but it's mostly i think it tastes mostly savory than sweet to me so recommend these for sure they're so good i actually didn't even know we had these these are crisp crunchy crisps <laughs> they're pea and chickpea snacks i think winston picked these up because i didn't even see these until I prepare for this video and I put everything on the counter. But let me try these because they're just like chickpea crispy chips, I think. Our Trader Joe's Crisp Crunchy Crisps are made with peas and chickpeas, baked, never fried. Oh, and they're sprinkled with a little bit of salt. It smells like, um, I guess it smells like a crisp when you open the bag. I can't explain it, but it smells like, um, like a corn puff or something like that. That's how it smells when you open the bag. It's like a strong smell. Anyway, they're super crispy. They're good, but you can tell like this is a vehicle for something way tastier. You know what I mean? Like dip it in some salsa, dip it in hummus or something like that. That's what it's for. Like I wouldn't eat these just like this. They're not like a fun snack and chip. You know what I mean? All right, so next I want to show you guys these everything but bagel chips. And I really wanted to try these for the first time on camera. We got them today, but as soon as we got home, Winston wanted to try them. And of course, I couldn't resist, so I wanted to try one too. But they're everything. And you guys need to check these out. They had them last year, and I missed out on them. And I was really upset about that. But today we were in there. I wasn't even thinking about it. And they had them on the shelf, and I was like, we got to get these. So we got a couple of bags of these, and they're really good. If you like the everything but the bagel seasoning, if you like, um, they have also everything but the bagel, like smoked salmon. That's really good. They have a lot of stuff with everything but the bagel. So if you like it, you're going to love these. And even if you don't like those, you probably will like these because they're potato chips with everything but the bagel seasoning on it, you know? So I can taste the poppy seeds. I can taste the garlic. These are really good. 
Mm. And it tastes really good with hummus. Um, I would probably wouldn't have put this in a video unless I was gonna like taste these with you guys, but this is the organic hummus from Trader Joe's and it tastes really good with the bagel season. So if you like hummus, then you'll probably like the hummus with these um, chickpea crisps. But the hummus is banging with these um, everything but the bagel chips. Now, last but not least, I got this sparkling lemonade. I love all the sparkling drinks from Trader Joe's. I like the coconut yuzu sparkling drink. I like, um, they have watermelon. They have strawberry sparkling beverages. They're all delicious. I even tried one that had like pineapple. I think it was a coconut and pineapple, but it didn't have any sugar or anything like that. And it was more like a, it was a sparkling water, but something like a seltzer. That was really good. If you guys can get your hands on those, they're all good. I think they have a, like a peach version of it now. But let me try this one because I haven't had the lemonade one before. I know this is like a brand new. This has to be a brand new flavor because I've never seen it. And I was DMing with one of you guys today and you told me that you tried it already and it was delicious. So let me just see. That's really good. If you like lemonade, you're gonna love it. It's like a lemonade soda. Perfect. Very refreshing. And it probably would be good in a cocktail. But they all come in these cute little square boxes, like the watermelon one, the strawberry one. They all come in these cute little cartons and they come in a box of four. So I always get like a couple of boxes of the ones that I like. Next up, I have something I wanted to try. I've been wanting to try this for a really long time. This isn't from Trader Joe's, it's from the farmer's market, but you could get raw honey from like Amazon. I'm pretty sure they have some local places around where you live you could get like raw honey in the comb, in the honeycomb. But we've always wanted to try this and I'm just excited. I, I don't know if it's gonna be like extra sweet. I've tried like other honeys that have like flavors and they all taste the same to me, so I don't know, but I'm just real curious about this and it always looks so pretty. But raw honey in the comb is actually um, kind of expensive. I think it was about like $13 for this, um, for this box. So we'll see. I hope it tastes really, really good. But I like it. Like the way I like the way it looks. It looks kind of like a jewel. I like the way they put it in a box like this. But let's see. <laughs> it's definitely a familiar honey flavor. It tastes it tastes really rich. I guess that's the only difference I can describe it as. good it has a very strong honey flavor it's like really intense i wouldn't want to go back to regular honey after this i mean you probably will because it's inexpensive and you could keep a big batch of it you guys stop smacking it in, the, in the microphone <laughs> i can see why people eat them eat it just like this now that was good too sweet Bottle, not it's not real. You can definitely taste the difference between what's in the, like the honey bear bottle versus that. That's really good. There's actually a guy who lives not far from us that has like local honey. I don't know if he has bees. I don't know what the deal is. We're gonna go check it out, but maybe I'll do like a taste test on Instagram or let me know if you guys are even interested at all. But I definitely like the real honey. Wins is over here spitting out the <laughs> spitting out all the beeswax. So that's it for another Trader Joe's haul. Let me know if you guys like any of the things that I showed you. Let me know if you tried it. Let me know what your favorites are. Put it all in the comments and we can chat about what we're gonna get next from Trader Joe's. But yeah, so that's it. I really enjoyed tasting everything. And of course I love trying new stuff from there all the time. But let me know if you guys wanna keep seeing these videos on the channel. Let me know in the comments. And before you ask, this robe is no longer available. This robe I've had for a very long time and I do wear it in all of my videos, but I am working on my own robe line. And some of you have already done this, but if you haven't, check the description box for a link. I need you guys' feedback. I'm working on the robe line now, and I just wanna know more about what you guys are looking for in a robe. So make sure you check the description box and fill out just a little bit of a survey. It has a couple of questions, and um, it's really quick. So check the description box, 
And, um, oh, you guys, I'm doing a meet and greet at Lots of Time. If you're in the Atlanta area, check the description box. I'll have a link to where you can RSVP because I want to meet you guys. It's going to be on June 26th. It's coming up quick, so be sure to register, and I'll see you guys there. And that's all I got for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? I would love to have you. Check out some of my other videos, tons of fashion content. Check out those other Trader Joe's hauls that I'll have linked in the cards for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.